Okay, this is a follow-up to my earlier video on how to use the edge chromium side tabs. Now I have a video that shows how to change these uh, horizontal tabs into side tabs, uh, but there's a few other features that uh, I'd like to take a look at. So instead of going back to the other video, we're going to show you right now that if you have the horizontal tabs but you want to change, all you have to do is click on this little icon here. But if you don't have it, you just have to go to Edge Settings. To do that, you go in the far right where the three dots are at, and you bring up the Settings menu. And once you get there, you just click on the Appearance entry. Uh, let's go here to Settings, and then quickly go over to the Appearance there, and you'll see a button here that says Turn On Vertical Tab. Okay, so then once we have that button that uh, appeared in the top uh, left-hand corner to convert, we just click there and you'll notice that there's tabs have gone and they're now here on the left-hand side. If you hover over it, they show up there. That's great. Okay, for those of you who don't want the extra space uh, uh, used up. So if you're over here and you have this open, you want to have a new tab. It's just like the little plus sign you had before on the right-hand side of the uh, bar at the top. You just click on New Tab and you keep doing that until you have as many tabs as you want. The reason I'm doing this is to show you what we can do when we have a bunch of tabs open. So here I am with a ridiculous number of ta new tabs. And you'll see now there's a scroll bar so you can scroll up and down. So you can have a, really an unlimited number of tabs open. Uh, basically you're going to be limited eventually by system memory. But let's take a look at this. If you notice I click and hold, I can actually rearrange my tabs here by moving them around so they're in a different order. Another feature that's available to you is like, just like in the File Explorer, if you click on one thing, you go down to another, you hold your Shift key down, and it selects all those in between. And then also, of course, can hit the Control key just like in Explorer, File Explorer, and boom, uh, I can select a certain discrete set. And by right-clicking on it, I come up with a context menu, and I can do all sorts of things here uh, with those tabs. Now, one of the things you do on a website maybe is that you want to go somewhere else in the site, but you don't want to lose the home page or use the back button. So you go to a link and you right click on it and you say open a new window, uh, like that. Well, with the tab feature, you can do that very easily. You just come over here, find it, right click on it, and say open, and boom, you open up a new copy of the website exactly where you're at and then navigate where you want. If I drag this out of the way, you'll see that I have two copies open. And if you want to put it back, you used to drag it, the tab back to the other one. But instead, you can just come over here to the link, right-click on it, and say, move to another window. You can choose what window it goes to. In this case, I want it to go right back to that set there. I click on it, and the two of them will get merged back into the pre-existing window you just took it from. And there's a whole bunch of other right-click menu features uh, that you can do, the usual uh, we'll get the pin tab in a second, but you can mute the tab, you can close them, close other tabs. All those things you're used to are available here just by right-clicking on the item in the vertical tab menu. Now here's one where you can say add all the tabs to favorites. Oh, and you can even do a new collection. But let's finish up with favorites. You simply click on here and it opens up a favorites menu. And you go in here just like you would before and do something different with it. For example, I can add to my favorites bar. If I click there, and then if I want to create a new folder, okay, I simply, I can save it right there, uh, and it'll show up up here. It says new folder. And there they all are, all those tabs. And the same thing goes with the collection feature. Let me delete this just to keep cleaned up here. Uh, go here, right click again, go all the way to the bottom, and say add to new collection. And boom, you're over here in the collections menu, and there they are. They've been added to this collection right here. And by the way, while we're here, if you haven't investigated collections, you can see they're a lot nicer than favorites, a lot more detailed to look at. And just a small note, once you're here, you can go back to your collections and you can see uh, different collections that you may have had. You can delete them. As a matter of fact, I have an old one here that's empty. I'm, I'm going to delete that as well. But you can have all your collections over here. So uh, like I promised, let's take a look at the pin tab function. So for example, if I have a particular tab here that I want to pin uh, to the top of the list of the tabs and it'll stay there between opening and closing the browsers right click and you just click on pin tab and you'll see that it appears now at the top above this little line here and it's a permanent pin. Now along with the file functions we just talked about if I select a whole bunch of them 
and I right click and I say pin, you'll see that they all appear there above the line as permanently pinned tabs. So here I am with them in a collapsing mode, you know, where they have to hover. But watch what happens when I click on the pin to keep this panel open all the time. They change from uh, this view, which is the list view, into icon mode. And you'll see that there's uh, they're listed there as small icons. They don't look like much now because they're all the same tab of new tabs. But let's change that a little bit. Now you'll notice if I do on my, my site, Old Guy Geek, if I pin it to the top, you'll see it has my picture there. And that's because my site has a proper favorites icon for it built into the website. And any website should do that, and they all should show up here. So you'll see here if I add uh, some more, you'll see more of them up here uh, there as well. And uh, you can just sit there and pin them up there to your heart's content. You can have all these pin sites. Now, there's one site that doesn't have it. There's a, it's a hand gliding site doesn't have the icon set up. So now I close my browser. I had like 10 tabs open plus a bunch of pins. So what happens when I start it back up again? Well, I get all my usual tab setups, you know, the ones at the bottom uh, down here that are part of how I have my browser set up for my startup tabs. And I'm just going to get rid of those, but it also brought up all those saved tabs so that they're available for you as well. By the way, just like before in pin tabs, if you want to get rid of one, you just simply go to a tab or a pin and you can just right click on it and just say unpin it and that one is removed. <laughs> you can't really tell because I have so many, but you just remove the ones that you want, uh, remove or close that, and that pin will no longer be there. And by the way, once you have it all set up, uh, you can do the same thing we talked about file explorer functions. If you click on the first one, hold the shift key down, you can select multiple uh, pins up there, just like you did tabs, right click on it and get rid of them all and uh, do that. So let's say you want to open one of these and get, take it off the pin, actually. So if you right click and say unpin, do that, and it's no longer pinned. Now, if you also go to one of these other ones, do the same thing. Now, remember, these are just unpinning them. They're still temporary tabs. If you close your browser now and open it back up, they'll be gone. They're not part of your startup tabs. So let me uh, do another one here. And there you have it. Uh, that's the current setup with just three pins. Uh, the rest are, uh, well, let's do one more. Uh, two pins and the rest are temporary tabs. Okay, so there you have it, some hidden or at least unknown to me prior to this uh, functions for the new Edge Chromium vertical tab function. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.